Okay, this is Chase Swift, and I uh, had a rather unfortunate experience that I want to avoid, and it was uh, someone getting into my Gmail account. So I'm going to take another Gmail account that I have and uh, show you how to turn on two-step verification. Very important, okay? Very important, especially because a lot of your Gmail accounts will be tied to your YouTube your Google AdSense, obviously your email, and other things. Okay, so um, I'm going to sign in there. And uh, in this case, it just happened to go to two-step verification. I was looking at my account, and I realized I don't have it on. Okay, now Google will uh, give you information about this, and it adds another layer of security, okay, uh, by requiring access to your phone. Now, if someone breaks into your account, they don't have your phone. Okay, so you, they will need a phone as well as your username and password. They're not going to have your phone. Okay, so if someone steals or guesses your password, they won't be able to sign in because they don't have your phone. Okay, very important. It can be a normal home phone or it can be a cell phone. So I'm going to do this right now. Okay, so it happens to remember my cell phone, which is great. And uh, when you log in from another computer you don't use, which every so often that happens, don't, doesn't it? You use a computer that you're not at home. They're going to ask you for the password and the code that you receive on the phone. Okay, that way Google will protect your account. Okay. So, uh, I can do either one. Um, I'll just do a text message onto my phone. And we're going to send the test. Now, if you don't have a, a cell phone, you could do a voice call on your home phone. Okay. And so, I'm going to click send the code. And it's sending it to my cell phone right now. Okay, hear that? That's my cell phone going off. Okay, and I'm seeing a message, and I get a number, so I'm testing it. Now, even if you had this, you couldn't do that. I mean, you're not... Okay, so I just verified my phone. Click Next to continue. Okay. So remember this computer. This it'll remember this computer that you're using right now, and I'll remember it for the next 30 days. Okay. If I was on a public computer, I would uncheck it. Okay. So I'm good there. Let's click next. Okay, and let's turn it on. So this will make sure that's activated. So very simple. I mean, how simple was that? Very simple. Okay. So now this is on and anyone that tries to log into my this Gmail account and if they're not at this computer they're going to have to have my cell phone number. Okay. Now there are ways to uh, get some uh, backup codes. You can print these off. I'm not going to do this now. But you can actually print off some codes that you put in your wallet and they're only used for once. They're only good once, okay? You can also turn on application-specific passwords, like if you have an iPod Touch or an iPhone or an Android phone or something like that. So then you can uh, have access on your mobile device or your application-specific password on a separate device, okay? I'm not going to do that now, okay? And if, if you ever need to, you can clear the settings on everything and start over. Okay. So I've just added two-step verification on this account. It's very important. You need to do this today if you haven't. Okay. So um, that's really all I want to talk about. And then I can go back and I don't even know what email I have in this account. But uh, okay, there's some important stuff there and um, I think that's good so turn on Google two-step verification on your account today uh, trust me you need to do that this is Chase Swift hope you enjoyed
Thank <laughs> you.